Hey guys, Vitality here, and welcome back to episode 4 of the solo series. Unfortunately, disaster has struck, and we were raided last night. I'm not too sure what tribe was responsible, but all I know is they didn't leave pretty much anything. Luckily, before I logged off, I chucked a bunch of things in upload, so we're not starting from complete scratch. We still have, uh... I think we got a couple of turtles, we got some of the saddles, and uh, I think we've even got some uh, some stegos as well, which is awesome. Usually at this point, I would either just end the series and stop playing or, you know, go on and do something else, but I kind of want to keep going, and uh, yeah, I want to see how, how far I can go. It really sucks, but everyone does get raided at some point, even content creators and YouTubers, and uh, I can't really, you know, I was building in a pretty terrible rat hole, so I, I pretty much did it to myself. But yeah, in today's episode, we're going to get back on track and we're going to get back up to where we were. I'm not going to, you know, put you guys through the whole thing again. I'm going to work as hard as I possibly can just to get up to where we were before we got raided. So we're going to have to get on the grind today. I've got everything scheduled out so we can, uh, yeah, catch up and get to where we need to be. Alright, I've gone out of my way to get about 100k raw metal, so we should get about 50k cooked metal, uh, which should be enough for now to set up a pretty good base. It's definitely going to put us further ahead than what we were, so I guess we've got to thank the people that raided us for that. But uh, yeah, the mining drill on Aberration is so OP, like we've got so many resources, we're going to be able to build a massive base with all of this metal. Definitely recommend getting a mining drill and spending a little bit of time in the starter area, just, you know, working towards that. Before you go for turrets or anything like that, because I'm telling you, this it's so crazy how much metal you get. And uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, but we chucked a fabricator down just in this corner here. Now that we've got metal going, the next three things that we're going to need are electronics, poly, and cementing paste. I'm pretty sure we'll be good for spark powder and gunpowder. Um, yeah, I definitely think we'll be, we'll be fine for that. I think what I'm going to do now is make a chainsaw, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll go and start getting a bunch of poly from Cementus, and then we'll check that off the list as well. Cementing paste is easy enough as well, it's really just the electronics that are going to be a little bit of a pain to get, but it shouldn't be too bad. We were lying underneath the lunar eclipse, oh why that feels so short, I kind of wanted to see more. Hey yo, hey yo, it's not looking bad. You know, if I, if I had to rate all of the bases that I've ever built on a list, I'd put this one at the top. As you can see, ever since we've been raided, I've been working very hard and uh, we've got a mismatch of autos and heavies on this base. And each turret has about 300 to 400 bullets in there. Oh, But I'm actually really, really happy with the progress I've managed to make. Uh, it has been a couple of days though, I won't lie to you, I did not do this all in one day. So if this video is a day late, that's that's probably why. You know, these things happen, you can't really control it if you get raided. And oh uh, yeah, I really didn't want to just show you a bunch of footage of me doing exactly what I'd just done to build up. So uh, yeah, I mean, aside from a couple of teams, this is pretty much where we were before we left off. Honestly, the Johnny Depp Amber Heard case is carrying me right now. I would not have had the uh, the motivation to do this if I didn't, if I wasn't listening to something else in the background. If you guys have got any good like Netflix shows that, you know, oh my god. If you guys have got any good Netflix show recommendations, uh, leave them in the comments because it's always good to be doing something else while you're farming. There's only so much farming I can take. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, we're pretty much up to where we left off before we got raided, which is awesome. I think the uh, the only thing that I need to go and do is tame some stegos, which I guess I'll go and do that now. And uh, yeah, I'll look for some bases, see what we can come up with. Because I think for now, I am actually really happy with this base and uh, yeah, hopefully we should be able to last a couple of days up here. 
All right, so we've got a bunch of Stegos and I even actually bought a Stego Saddle BP from the donation shop. I could have spent a couple of hours maybe looking for my own one or trading it with someone, but it was only like $8, so I just decided, you know, might as well just buy it myself. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I found a base that I can raid. I just need to set up a little bit of a fob just in case because these servers are quite popular and the last thing that I want is someone running up on me. So I'm just going to get everything I need together and uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys back in when we're raiding the base. So I actually scouted this location quite a while ago and I chucked a bed down and it looks like the bed is still there so hopefully this base hasn't been raided yet. It is in a pretty common spot so let me check real quick. Nope, looks like the wyverns are still there if these... Oh my god, get out of the way. Oh my god. Alright, yeah, okay, look. It's looking like the base is still there. It looks like they've set up a couple more turrets from when I was last here. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty certain this is going to be an online raid, so I'm going to have to set up this fob fairly quickly. Alright, there we go. So we've set up all the turrets that we brought. We only brought four, but hopefully that should be enough. I don't think they have any stegos to counter it. Uh, yeah, I've just got to wait on the cryo timer now so I can uh, chuck those stegos out. But what I will do is I'll give you guys a better look at the base. Um, it's kind of difficult to scout it because you will get shot if you're, if you're not careful. Uh, but yeah, if we chill behind these rocks here, as you can see, they do have a parasol, which is kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, they don't seem to be hopping online to investigate, so we should be able to take out that first little base there. I thought it was just a turret tower at first, but it looks like they've got some refining forges in there. Looks like we've soaked it, actually. Too easy. I didn't think these guys would have a lot of ammo, but uh, yeah. Always better to check, I guess. Yeah, no, it looks like we're fine. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna blow up that little structure in the front there then, just so they can't you know chuck more ammo in there. Um, it's just a precaution really. Should just be three on this wall and we should be all good. Uh, I've just got to be careful that it doesn't expose any turrets. But yeah, it doesn't look like it. All right, nice. So what did they have happening in here? They had. Mortar and pestle, it looks like, and then just a couple of refining forges. All right, I'll take that uh, for now, and I uh, will chuck. We'll turn this off. Might be worth breaking it as well, actually. It doesn't look like they're online at all, just based on the fact that they haven't come out yet, which is really, really surprising to me. But you know, maybe they're just off the server or something like that. I probably don't even need to uh, to soak those turrets on that main base. I think I could just walk up with my Stego and uh, use a rocket launcher. I'm not too sure if my Stego is up for that though. It's only got, what, 9,000 health. Give it another veggie cake. We'll see how, how bad uh, tanking this is, because if it's not too bad, we'll run up with the rocket launcher, I think. All right, so I just thought I'd bring you guys back in. I'm still soaking at the moment, um, but I'm not going to soak all the turrets. I'm just going to get the three at the front there. Oh my god, can this parasol get out of the way? Right, yeah, so as I was saying, I'm just soaking the three turrets at the very front there, and then we should be able to just run up against that wall and uh, blow in from there. No point soaking all of them. There we go, turrets are down, and it uh, looks like we're in this base. So I'm going to wait for this wreckage to clear. Who is this? Okay, it looks like they were offline. Uh, some C4, shotgun... Some a metal shield, I guess that's nice. Take the silk. Don't really need any of this stuff though. I'm not gonna take what I don't need. Smithy. Ooh! We actually got a flak BP. It's not bad. We don't we don't actually have a flak BP, so that's that's a good find in my opinion. Also a pretty good PT saddle BP. Oh uh, that's nice as well. We don't really have any BPs at all. What's this fabricator? Ooh, okay. Bit of gunpowder, bit of cementing paste. Uh, nothing I don't already have, but, you know, not going to complain. That is actually really nice. Uh, we got a bunch of charcoal at base, so we can probably turn all of this into gunpowder. So that's that's pretty good. Uh, no cryotames, though, unfortunately. Or no refrigerator, which is a bit strange. I think I might be missing something, maybe. That's, but that's the only explanation I can come up with. Um, or maybe they just, you know... They built the breeding area and didn't have anything to breed. Overall, not a terrible raid, but uh, yeah, I probably didn't need to set up the fob for that. <laughs> it's probably been a little bit paranoid, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to take these guys back to base, and uh, I guess I'll keep looking for something to raid. 
Now that we got a bunch of spark powder from that raid, we can actually turn all of this into gunpowder because I did do a wood run a little bit earlier, which uh, yeah, basically means we can fill the turrets up just that little bit more. Considering they've only got like 300 to 400 bullets in them, uh, it's probably for the best that I do that. Should probably have done it a little bit sooner, but you know, it's what it is. Metal is definitely not a problem. I'll show you guys how much metal we've got uh, in just a second. Because, uh, yeah, I went on an absolute grind for that. Did I accidentally chuck the C4 in here? or No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, but, yeah, we've got so much metal. Even more in some of these fabricators. So, uh, yeah, metal is not the issue. I'm over here on Scorched Earth, and I'm just going to get some wyvern eggs real quick. I'm a bit gammered uh, down at the moment, though, so I'll fix that quickly. It's just a little bit bright on this map. I'll see what I can find. I really only want high levels. I'm not going to mess around with low levels, so I'll just I'll see what's in here. But Scorched hasn't been too populated lately, so I think there'll be a couple of eggs around. And uh, this PT has quite a bit of stamina, so hopefully I should be able to outrun the wyverns. Hmm, I'm not seeing too many nests at all, really. It does not look like there is a single nest in this tire. Oh, oh, we found a nest, but we've also found the uh, the angry parent. Holy demon, they do so much torpor as well. Holy demon. Man, lightning wyverns are a menace. Alright, I'm just going to take this egg. I don't really care anymore. This is... Oh, it's only a level 40. You know what? I don't care. Go, 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 go. It's all over for me. It's I'm done. It's dead. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Ah! Oh, that's not what I thought would kill me. That's not what I thought was going to kill me at all. I think what I'm going to do now is maybe scout extinction. Because I would love to find a base with some electronics in it. We pretty much have everything we need for more turrets except electronics. It is such a pain. So uh, yeah, just finding someone to, to steal those off would be ideal in my opinion. We might also have to think about setting up a, uh, a separate cliff plat for breeding. But uh, I think that's definitely a next episode kind of job. And uh, also, another thing I wanted to mention, uh, around the time this video is coming out, I turned 18 yesterday, I believe, if unless I've like died or something, and can't live up to that promise. But yeah, I turned 18 yesterday, and who knows, maybe I might start a bit of OnlyFans content? Who's really to say? No, no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Or am I? I would never do something so unholy. Hey, yo, so it looks like I have found a base. Not 100% sure if there are turrets, but it looks like there is a generator. Is that a turret? I'm not really too sure, to be honest. Um, yeah, that looks about, that looks all good to me. I reckon I'll fly up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there are no turrets on this base, so I'll check it out. Usually this base location doesn't really have turrets anyway. Oh, this is, is this demolish allowed? Did I see? No. Okay, it looks like there's actually a fair amount of stuff going on up there, so I need to be careful. Because I've actually got like a solid kit on me right now. This is like everything I need to raid. So these guys might be online, just got to be careful about that. Nope, looks like he's, <laughs> he is very fast asleep it looks like. And uh, yeah, they've got no turrets on this base for some reason and a bunch of vaults. Absolutely no idea why that is, but... Yeah, I'm definitely going to take that. Uh, I would kill this guy. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's definitely the smart thing to do. But the issue that I have with doing that is if another teammate is online, like another tribe member, he might see that and uh, yeah, he might fly over here pretty quick. So I want to avoid killing uh, that guy just in case. These are all locked, unfortunately. So... Oh, he's going to die anyway because I'm going to have to use a C4. <laughs> You know what? I just cannot be bothered anymore. I'm just going to chuck a C4 down. <laughs> We're far enough away back here that, like, it should be fine. Uh, we didn't kill him anyway, so we're we're all good. We didn't break the ladder. How, how convenient is that? <laughs> oh, this guy's going to be... Called a, oh, yeah, this... Alright. Looks like we got uh, everything except the vaults, which is awesome. We're going to have to break into those vaults a little bit later. Uh, this was... Ant. Okay. Let's check the fridges. Ooh, we got a Stego. 
It's actually a pretty decent stego as well. I'm actually really happy with that. I'm going to take a bit of this meat so we can use it for the snow owl in case we want to do some snow soaking. Um, bunch of med brews, some veggie cakes, nothing really too crazy. I definitely don't need this Anki. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess that, that, that is kind of nice. What is this power generator? I guess I'll take that. What were these? Smithy. Let's have a quick look. We got a trike. That's not bad. We could definitely use that some uh, to soak some certain bases. Uh, What's this? Fabricator. A bunch of bullets. That's actually amazing. One of these has got to have the turrets in it, right? Okay, electronics. That's actually what we were looking for. What's this? Cooking pot. Yeah, I'll take that. They must have a bunch of turrets in one of these one of these vaults. Unfortunately, I don't have enough C4 to blow all three. But I think I've got enough for two. So... Oh, what's up here? Chemistry bench? Oh, there's more stuff up here. Oh, wow. Okay. This is actually pretty good as well. Definitely not complaining about this stuff. Let me uh, quickly go up here first before I blow that up. Oh, this was the industrial forge. No metal. Don't really need the charcoal. Um, I really don't want to break this platform. So I'm trying to place the C4 really high up. I just want to check if I can get damaged up back here. No, I don't. But it definitely damages the ceiling. Oh, so it looks like one of the vaults flew all the way down the hole. So I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Which I was kind of hoping wouldn't happen, but oh well. Thankfully, this one is still sort of, you know, within the base. But, yeah, I'm not too sure how I'm going to do this now. I'm going to have to... Actually, you know what? This is a good idea. Are you ready for this? I'm just going to chill up here. Oh, I'm definitely not... <laughs> I need to get way further away than this. Alright, that should be fine. And then I'll just lower myself down. It's a pretty seamless uh, idea, if you ask me. Alright, looks like we can access that bag... And uh, thankfully there is a bag as well. Hopefully it's got some C4 in it so we don't have to go back to base. Uh, moment of truth. Uh, chainsaw. Let's have a look. It's not looking good so far. Um, yeah, it does not look like there are... There's, there's no C4 in this vault. But there is some air conditioners. And uh, looks like what? We got some flippers. Uh, some silica pearls. <laughs> really trying to make the best out of this, but yeah, there's definitely not a not a lot here. Some grapples, I guess that's kind of nice. Anything else that can help us? Not really. Um, I have absolutely no idea where this other vault's gone though, because it's not at the bottom here. What on earth? Where on earth did it go? It looks like that vault on the right has just disappeared into the abyss. I'm not too sure how or why. Um, because it wasn't, you know, like, broken enough to be... I'm so confused. Oh, there's another fabricator bag here. Ooh! I almost missed that, I'm not gonna lie. That is actually exactly what we needed, though. Electronics was the number one thing on my list that I was looking for. I'm happy I picked up on that. But yeah, this other vault has just, it's disappeared. I don't know, I think maybe if a vault falls down far enough, it can despawn or something. I'm not 100% sure if that's the case. All right, so I think we're about one C4 short on this other vault. And I was kind of sad about that because I thought it meant I would have to go back to base. But I did forget that I did bring 20 rockets with me as well. And uh, yeah, one rocket did the trick. So let's check this vault. Um, just chitin. Oh. And we got an Anki. <laughs> I'm so confused. Why would you just not, like, why wouldn't you put turrets up here? And why would you be crafting so much ammo if you didn't have heavies or anything like that? I reckon there might have been turrets in that other vault. And it's it's kind of sad because I've got no idea where that other vault has gone. It's not glitched in the walls anywhere. And uh, it's definitely not at the bottom here. Like, I'm directly under the hole. But uh, yeah, I'm still really, really happy with that raid. Like, we got so many bullets and we got a bunch of silica pearls, which is going to be great for our... But yeah, I'm definitely really happy with that raid. We got a bunch of bullets and we got a bunch of silica pearls, which means we're going to be able to make so many more heavies. 
we're going to be able to upgrade all of those autos that I couldn't be bothered upgrading into into heavies. Yeah, so that's that's really good. Really, really happy with that. But uh, yeah, I'm probably going to end this episode here. I hope you guys did enjoy. I uh, apologize if this video came out a couple days late. It was because I did get raided. Hopefully, we're not going to get raided again. We're in a much better base location. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see how far we can go in this series. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.